Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. A few weeks ago, I shared with you one of my favorite new ground spikes that I carry in my small go bag, and it was from eBay seller BD7 Maple. It comes with this high quality machined billet with an SO239 connector that you screw onto the eight inch ground spike supplied. And then to get it to work with our collapsible masts like the Chameleon SS17 or the MFJ one that we're all familiar with and a few more I'm going to show you uh, soon, we had to get this little adapter that uh, sold out quickly on Amazon once I shared the video. And now you can find this adapter at other uh, retailers of antenna parts. I got some great feedback on that video. Um, some of it uh, was also negative feedback, as in, you know, where do I hit that thing with a hammer? Well, who wants to hit this beauty with a hammer? But it made me remember and realize that my great operating conditions here in the Tampa Bay area are not the same that some of you come up against. I can walk in my backyard and almost any park that I go to operate POTA and just push that right into the ground, no problem. I don't need a hammer. Some of you also talked about the expense of this and wondered why wouldn't we go for less expensive options? Well, I have a couple of thoughts on that. Why do we need a Sig Sauer when a high point will do the trick? Why do we need a flex radio when a Zygu will do the trick? You get my point. This is what's great about the free enterprise system. We have price points all over the place with varying levels of quality and features, and we get to make our decisions about what works best for us. But when I made this video, I already had in mind the alternative for the lowest cost vertical antenna spike you can get. That's the day on HOA ham. And here it is. You're all familiar with these mirror mount type brackets and how we can use them with the vertical antennas that we're all used to erecting out there in the field in the parks in our backyard or wherever we choose to operate. You can pick these up on eBay, Amazon, any ham radio retailer for anywhere between $10 and $15. I think I paid $11 and change for this one on Amazon. So really low price point. Some of you immediately notice the orientation of this bracket makes it impossible to hang on a ground spike. Most of you might be aware, some of you not, that this is actually a square bracket. So when you take the, the nuts and the bolts out of here, you just orient this the opposite direction. And now your groove is going up, down, north, south, and you can mount that on any spike that you put into the ground. So here you're in $11. What else is out there that allows this to be the most cost-effective collapsible mast antenna spike. I took a trip to my local ham radio equipment store, Home Depot, and I picked this up. What do we have here? We have a 98 cent, 3 8 inch diameter, metal galvanized dip landscaping spike. How does it compare to the BD7 Maple offering? Well, it's 12 inches, so it's already going to be four inches longer than the BD7 Maple Spike. So we get that extra length that we can get into the ground. Some of that's going to be taken up by our antenna mirror mount, but that's okay. We'll still get more spike into the ground. It's hot galvanized dipped, so it doesn't have the same nice finish on it that the BD7 Maple does or any other type of ground spike. Let's just take our our, our cha spike from Chameleon Antennas, right? It has this, a similar type of finish. It's a stainless polished finish. So we have a little bit more rough of a finish here, but for $11.98, you're in the ground with an antenna spike. Sig Sauer, high point. Flex Radio, Jaigu. They're both going to get that mast up in the air and let us get reception. When we get together with our buds at the local club, some of us cannot wait to pull out this high quality, finely finished product and go, look at this. And others of us can't wait to go, I got this for 98 cents at Home Depot. And what matters in the end is that they both get us on the air. Let me show you how to connect this to your mirror mount and get it outside and get an antenna on it. First up, just take the nuts and bolts out of this plate and then we'll reorient it. Once 
Once you reorient your plate, don't tighten down on the nuts all the way. Let's leave some slack there so that we can take our ham radio gear from Home Depot and just slide it down into that groove. All right. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there. I'm going to leave that head protrude above the top of the bracket so I can actually take a hammer to this thing and show you that it's hammer proof. Finger tighten your nuts, then take it out to the workshop and go at it with a wrench. And then it's time to go play radio. When we go from the BD7 maple ground spike to the lowest cost vertical collapsible antenna ground spike, we pick up about two inches in length. That perhaps will help us when we put this into the ground. For those of you who wanted to know, where do you hit this? You don't. Where do you hit this? Right on the head of the nail. I've mentioned living in Florida, my working conditions are pretty good, so I can just take this and push it right into the ground. And I'm ready to go. And I have no problem keeping my SS-17 up in the air, even with wind blowing. For those of you who are not as fortunate as me living in the Tampa Bay area, it is a nail. Go ahead and take the appropriately sized hammer and get it in the ground. You know the rules. If we put a ground spike in the ground, put an antenna in it, we have to make at least one contact. Nothing better for the job than the MFJ 1979. Let's get it in the air and turn on the radio. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. 580, Boa Vista, Brazil. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, Hylio. It's Bob here in Tampa, Florida. Always can pick you up. It's a pleasure to speak with you again this evening. QSL? QSL, many thanks for again for Tampa, Florida, and thanks for 59. You are 580 in Brazil. Thank you again, 73. Good luck. 73, friend. Take care. Bye bye. QSL, the exit. Papa Victor, 8 Alpha Lima, QSL. The lowest cost ground spike you can purchase held its own against the higher cost and more highly refined BD7 Maple offering from eBay. We're not done with this yet. We're going to talk much more about this in some future videos. I have an antenna which is specifically going to take advantage of that SO239 and I can't wait to share that with you. That said, it's hard to argue against the low cost mirror mount that you can pick up on eBay, Amazon, or any ham gear retailer. And then these ground spikes, which come in at less than a buck a piece from your local hardware store. It's all about getting antennas up in the air, whether you want the low cost ground spike or you want something a little bit more fancy and refined and polished. It's your choice. I hope you found this helpful friend. I'll talk to you soon, 73.